Now, coming up next, we have a great interview. Our own Jordan Yerman is going to be interviewing Alex Fine to discuss simplifying hybrid cloud and hybrid anything can be complex. And so anything that makes it a little bit simpler is okay with me. So without further ado, let's get to that wonderful interview. Take it away. Welcome back to CloudFest 2021. You are on the Name Studio track. This is Simplifying the Hybrid Cloud by Empowering Hosting Providers, MSPs, and CSPs. As CEO of Virtuoso, Alex Fine is the team's Chief Energy Officer. Alex is an IT leader with a passion for working with the smartest people, building and bringing the best new solutions to market, growing business to the sky, and changing the world for the better. Let's welcome Alex Fine. Hey, Jordan. Great to be hey, here. Hey, how you doing? It's been Very a hell good. of a year, right? It's been, yeah. So the world has been in lockdown, as well. know. They were uh, quite a dramatic and tragic event. But uh, I guess for our industry, it was actually a great year. Uh, we've seen, you know, many more people turn into digital. You know, McKinsey is saying that uh, what would take a few months, uh, several years, like seven years to go, uh, actually took like a few months in terms of digital transformation, the same things Saita Nadella is saying. So um, I guess more people are feeling now they need to have digital presence or so more websites, uh, more online tools, and then the largest of them are graduating into uh, uh, VPS uh, services. So it's good for shared hosting industry, it's good for VPS industry, uh, it's good for hosting industry. And so how has Virtuoso been doing in all of this? Yeah, so we've been doing pretty well. Uh, we, we were doing, uh, uh, according to our plan, pre-COVID time. So we grew 20% plus last year. Uh, and that's a, a pretty good result for this year. Uh, we extended our partnership with our key service provider partners and we signed a few dozen more in all parts of the world. Um, we have today 130 people from Mexico City to Sydney throughout Americas, Europe, uh, Japan, Asia. Uh, we have one, 450 active partners uh, from largest hosting providers in the world to telecom communication providers to distributors and managed service providers. And we are a fourth largest contributor in KVM and QMU um, uh, in open source communities. So uh, uh, that's basically our DNA. Should I maybe provide a bit of overview of Virtuoso? And in a nutshell, what's the Virtuoso story so far? Right. So uh, we've been in the software industry for uh, 20 years. So we are basically a software company that is empowering service providers with a, a top-notch and most cost-efficient uh, infrastructure solutions for SMB market. Uh, we pioneered in the year 2000 uh, system container technology that's been at the time the most cost-effective and it remains the most cost-effective technology. Um, at the time, it was having 10x advantage over any hypervisor. So it's no surprise that you know all the most of the largest hosting providers were uh, very receptive to this, and they started partnering with us because hosting provider business is all about efficiency. You know how many customers you can serve from uh, one physical server uh, with a, a great efficiency and with a great quality. Um, and then we uh, created our hypervisor. Uh, primarily to solve for Windows workloads. So uh, it's not Hyper-V, obviously, but our hypervisor is on par with Hyper-V. And in some respects, uh, funny enough, it's even better. It's perfectly designed for Windows workloads. Then we introduced software-defined storage. And finally, uh, a couple of years ago, a uh, hyper-converged infrastructure solution, a full suite of uh, uh, hypervisor software-defined storage, uh, virtual networking, and the management layer. And there are two more products coming this year. Actually, one of them is Virtuoso Linux. That's not a new product. It's been foundation of our Virtuoso hybrid, uh, um, hybrid server solution for years. But now we're releasing it as a perfect substitute and replacement of CentOS 8 that has been in uh, discontinued support uh, by Red Hat. Um, so we've been having this solution as a foundation of our virtualization technology. Now it will be released uh, uh, in the wide open for uh, any use cases. Uh, and finally, we, we will open, um, we will launch um, next quarter in Q2, a virtual hybrid cloud, uh, our um, presentation of cloud services. Okay, and 
Who are you targeting today? Is it still hosting providers or have you widened your target market? Right, so uh, it's it's a great question. So we are, we are still remaining true to our DNA. We are all about uh, solutions for service providers. So hosting providers, that's a market where we're having the, you know, the, the largest footprint. Uh, we definitely uh, love our partners. We are staying true to them and uh, we're developing a portfolio for them. Uh, with that, we expanded our reach towards broader the service provider community to many service providers and cloud service providers. Um, now, the solution that is good for MSP and for CSP is actually also good for enterprises. So eventually, we may tap directly in enterprise market today. Uh, but today, we, we are still focusing on service providers. And that's our uh, main um, partner base. I see. OK, now it is crunch time. Why should hosting providers choose you? Right. So uh, we've been basically uh, pioneering the technologies here for you know quite uh, uh, quite some time, uh, and we have uh, today reached into 35% of the hosting market. So the you know distinct difference between us and other uh, software providers is that we have the the largest reach towards the market leaders. So we are co-creating this market with the uh, with the hosting providers. And uh, uh, for our existing partners, we have uh, quite a few use cases of consolidating the infrastructure based on Rochosa, um, putting it as foundation for shared hosting, putting it as VPS infrastructure itself. Now, adding underlying operation system layer as we go into the uh, 2021 uh, for partners who are not our customers yet. Uh, and then it will mean mostly they're using in house solution. We're coming with a, a product suite that is the most cost efficient solution. So they will gain the 30 to 50% TCO advantage using commercial virtual solution versus anything that they will reach in house with a so called free open source based solution that, as we know, never uh, free. And uh, uh, also, we are adding here the layer of ecosystem because we understand that we are just one component of the solution suite for solution step for the providers. So uh, we introduced the concept of framework of hybrid platform, which was a hybrid platform that's integration framework with other technology partners and with a solution which are complementary to virtualization like uh, backup management, uh, monitoring. Uh, and we have integrations already uh, pre-paired uh, for uh, a bunch of such solution and they are available for our partners. So we are ready to use most cost efficient platform for hosting providers. So you mentioned MSPs earlier, as well as hyperconvergence. Are uh, these are new things for you? I take it. Are they related to each other? Uh, exactly. Yes. So um, uh, indeed, we introduced a new product portfolio, uh, and the product is called Virtual Hybrid Infrastructure. And we entered the MSP and CSP markets at the same time because that solution was pretty much designed with the uh, having in mind uh, service providers. Um, so we started actively marketing at the end of 2019. Uh, by now, we gained uh, a very good traction with uh, uh, quite a few dozen partners on board and uh, already generating revenue based on our infrastructure. Uh, so it's designed first and foremost for service providers. So it is uh, very easy to use. It's simple, it's stable, uh, it's open. So it's easy to integrate. It's, uh, it's pre-integrated with the you know, industry standard solution for uh, billing and orchestration. And obviously, on top of all this, uh, it's cost efficient. So service providers can generate the proper margin for them. And that's a distinct difference uh, between this solution and, uh, you know, partnership with the hyperscalers. I see. So are you becoming a cloud provider yourself? So we, uh, indeed, so we, uh, we uh, released this uh, year, uh, solution platform that's called Virtuosa Hybrid Cloud. And um, that is a cloud. So we are becoming a cloud provider. But no, we are not becoming a cloud provider uh, in a sense of uh, how our partners are doing this or how hyperscalers are doing this, because our cloud is for partners only. So we are coming to MSP, we are coming to CSP, and we are extending the infrastructure. Some MSP just don't want to deal with the, any uh, physical infrastructure themselves at all. So we are coming to them and say, that's a solution. You can tap into it. It's ready. It's running. It's uh, fully operational, and it's run by Virtuosa, 24/7 enterprise support, and it is ready and designed for all the major infrastructure use cases. 
not the uh, uh, you know one billion use cases that you can have from hyperscalers, but all the major ones that you would get from that's the SMB market would need their coverage. And it is brandable, it is simple, it's providing you with a high margin, and you can basically start uh, marketing your cloud services with our platform tomorrow. Cool. Well, we've run out of time, and this is the point where the audience is wondering, how can I find out more? Well, I'm glad you asked. Swing by the Virtuoso booth in the exhibit hall. Their team is super friendly, and they're ready to help you. And Alex, if you have any closing words? Yeah, so uh, definitely reach out to us. Uh, visit our virtual booth, engage with us. Uh, uh, shoot email to me, find at virtuoso.com. Uh, visit our website, uh, let's talk. I guess one of the you know the major difference between us and hyperscalers that's uh, you know we are listening to the market and we will hear and we can do uh, great things uh, pretty quick uh, and we are creating solution exactly for you so I uh, welcome uh, our conversation. Cool. Thank you so much for your time, Alex, and thank you all for watching. We'll see you out and about at CloudFest 2021. Thank you very much, Jordan. Wonderful. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Alex. And I, I got to say, you know, I've been around a long time and very few companies have as much experience in cloud as Virtuoso. They've been doing containers for a very long time. So check them out. And again, if you have questions on you want to follow up with these guys, like they said, visit them in their virtual booth and they'll answer all of your questions, give you a demo or anything else you need.